And the next poem is entitled Compression and Purity. It's the title of this, this volume. In the fire of fluidic jeopardy, diamonds uncoil and reconstruct and recondense like adjudicated burns or telepathic moon forms. Like psychic drafts and diacritics being pressured by conundrum and purity, compressed below the level of the gaunt reflecting metals. Diamonds crushed in glinting pions, incessant suns and the petal for vapors where the sun quakes by quanta, by powerful interior fractal. The singular diamond like a juggler or a hawk in condensed mercator warrants where signs ignite in the phosphines like the shape of a comet as Sedna or holographic combustion compressed, burning the dialectic of the ice house. The ground as habitual day star, aerolith as perfect star in the phantoms, known as paroxenes, as repetitious pyroclastics, as lowered concentrations of void, being basalt by subductive infinity. Diamond as subduction, as errata of mist under vapor, and these diamonds in my mind are not of the human blood soil, of protracted avidity, but of blank alchemical stresses, being wealth as random mountain ore, being poetic spurs, being strange supraphysical hallucinatory highs, which come down and retreat <coughs> into the ethers like blinded double mountains or a halting circuitous heat from the Permian or Mississippian, not an avalanche of morals or a decided human predicate but the predicate as primordial, as helium, as olivine, as hydrated minerals, as feral ozone dosage. Compression then, precocious, with neon reversals and flaring, with a dense and angular heightening, being a fabulous schist, being monoxide and hearing, where the sun spun around and condensed by petrology. <laughs> <laughs>